Hi everybody, middle of May and it looks like it's time for another trip to the a and Haven't decided yet where I'm going to camp, we'll look around for somewhere. Again, like last year, if there's nothing new available, we'll hit up the same old spots we had before. So, we'll see you up there. Hey everybody, made it up here, back on Forest Road 130, and definitely had different plans, and that plan was to end up on uh, Salmon Creek Road, there's a number of dispersed camping sites down there, but they were all small, uh, about as deep as my truck, and right on the road, so I wasn't very comfortable with that, so I decided to come back up here, due to time and appetite. So now I found out that my ground meat is still frozen, so I had to take it out and hopefully it'll thaw up enough. So we'll see what happens. We also, if you can see your little nuggy. Come on, nuggy. Let's go. There she comes. She's happy with the spot, so hey, how can I complain? I'm about done setting up. I've been here oh, about an hour, just putzing around. I got the generator and the blackstone to go and like I said, my meat's still frozen so lollygagging isn't an issue. When we get back around to cooking, yeah, I'll get back with you. Hope everybody's having a great Friday. Hey everybody. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be doing up a couple burgers. That's still frozen. I'm waiting for it to thaw. And uh, I cut up a potato for some fries, a couple slices of onion for the burger. And that's about the extent of it for tonight. Tomorrow morning's breakfast on the other hand. Um, we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna go with the uh, small pie tins. Uh, I'm gonna wrap the outside ring with bacon, fill the center with scrambled eggs and cheese and onions and jalapeno and see how that goes over. See how that works, but uh, as we're tight, just simple burgers and uh, french fries. Oh, so, that's it.
Hey everybody, it's been a long day. Uh, the burger and fries was good, filling, and that about did me in. Uh, I get up at 3.45 every day, so Fridays are tough. Um, I do a little shot and have a beer and chill for a few minutes before it's time to go in. The sun's going down, so I know it looks a little brighter on the camera than it does uh, really out here. Nuggies ready. So, we'll do our little fireball. I'll tell you, I was really looking forward to getting a spot down on Salmon Creek. Oh, that was a really pretty area. But the spots were all small, barely would fit the truck. Um, I think it's basically set up for 10 campers. Now, if you get all the way down the end of Salmon Road, Salmon Creek Road, there was one big spot, and when you know it, there's a big fifth wheel sitting there. So. I was SOL on that. So here's till next time finding another spot. Tonight's beer, which I picked up at Aldi's of all places. Hopping Nomad IPA. It's a seasonal ale. It's for the true adventurer inside us all. So there you go in case you want to see it. That's it. Give this a taste. Although all IPAs are tasting the same, they all have different clever names, right? That's pretty good. I wouldn't say no to it. So on that, I'm going to go chill for a while, and uh, that's bedtime. We'll catch up with you tomorrow morning for breakfast. Hope everybody has a good night. Morning everybody. I did get up to a nice sunny sunrise. I had my coffee and now the clouds have moved in and it's starting to drizzle just slightly. You can see on the back of the truck. Yeah it's dusty. That's the roads from yesterday. So I basically ditched everything that was important underneath the canopy. The most important thing is the toilet paper. That gets wet you can't dry it and use it. Nope. So I'm going to start getting ready to do some breakfast. Got my little cup out. Got some eggs and bacon. Bacon's on the fridge. Um, the idea is take the bacon and wrap it around the outside of this. Fill it with two scrambled eggs and uh, some onions and jalapeno and cheese. So then cook it on the blackstone. We'll see how it comes out. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. But it's a first. We'll see what happens. Follow along, please. I don't think I'm going to use the whole help, you know. I think half a little bit too much. Maybe the critters will pick them up. Maybe they'll grow. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Come out here and pick some fresh albinos. <laughs> That'd be awesome. In case you're wondering, Nuggy went back inside the camper. So these are in the camper on my lap, so if I'm not sitting down, she wants to be back inside. Go figure. Yes, there is a garbage can right there. Stuff like this, it really wouldn't matter because it's just going to decay. Might help out. That's a shame. Put that back in there. I don't think so. Maybe.
was thinking two pieces of bacon, but I think one will be plenty. So I put the two eggs in here and cheese and whatnot. There we go. For that, dish for scrambled eggs. Yes, I always bring bags, a box of bags. And I'll tell you what, a lot of people don't like Walmart. I can understand that. But if you look at their great value brand, the majority of their great value brand is better, or as good as, if not better, than the national brand. So, especially their bags. Keep that in mind. I don't know how this is gonna work, but it was an idea. There's that. I don't want that piece on you. Well, it's quite a bit, isn't it? Nuggie would go for some bacon right now, that's for sure. I just fired up the uh, blackstone so it gets hot. I don't know, what should we name this? Anybody got an idea for a name for this concoction? Kind of going for like breakfast cups or your bones, huh? A little more? All right. So, yeah, if you got an idea for a name, put it down in the comment section below and we'll come up with a new breakfast idea. So with that, I'll just wait till that gets hot and then we'll throw it on the, uh, the Blackstone. See you in a bit. All right, it's getting hot. Put this baby right on here. And 
see what we get. Hopefully it'll work. Okay, I'm hoping we're about done here. I don't know where to set this without melting anything. Yeah, it's sizzling away. It actually came out pretty good looking. Now, if the eggs are done, then we've got it made. Yeah, that's the whole kicker there. So one thing I'm going to remind you, if you're using a Blackstone and you, and you cook like this with the dome, that once you're done and you clean up, you put another coat of oil on it because you're burning everything off at the same time. So it's best to recoat it with oil. All right, we're going to wait a few minutes to let it cool down a little bit. I'll dump it out on the plate and see what we got. All right, well, there it is. It's cooked, and it looks pretty good. Now it's time to dig in. I'll let you know. Nuggy says she wants to go for a walk. So let's go for a walk. We do. We'll see if we find anything interesting. And yeah, we'll get back to you. Ready, Nugsta? Let's go. All right. I'm out here at the road. And uh, yeah, you can't really see. Hey, everybody. Nuggy and I are going for a walk. We're camped back there. Like I said, you can barely see us from the road now. A couple of weeks ago, that was not possible. So, everything's starting to fill in, get green, it's nice. That's the site number four where we were at last week. Maybe we'll take a walk up that way and see if anybody's there. Right now I know that Nuggy just loves being out in the woods. And getting tangled up and stuff. Uh-huh. 
Okay, I gotta go. Okay, Nuggie and I walked a half a mile down the road to site number four. I'm already seeing stuff I don't like. This is where I was camped at two weeks ago. Oh, what do you do with people? You know, they leave places a mess. And they want to keep enjoying this. Uh, it'll be taken away the way people act. Let's go over here and just find out what we got. All right, well, for the most part, it's good. Other than a little bit of crap in the fire pit, but yeah, they left a bunch of firewood, chopped, kindling. I spoke too soon. That's yeah, nice of them. I'll come back up here later and clean up the fire pit. I'll leave the wood. Or maybe I'll take the wood. I don't know. I could use some firewood just tonight, as long as it doesn't rain. This is all pretty recent, too, so we'll see. But yeah, there's nobody here. It's empty. One thing I didn't point out two weeks ago when we were here, that somebody drove all the way down in here just to cut one tree out of the woods. And what the purpose of that was, I have no idea. Why they came all the way back here just to cut down that one tree. Got any ideas? Please post below. We'll see what we can come up with. All right, getting back from our walk, and there's just a quick view of the campsite. Nucky's a little thirsty, breathing heavy. Walking slow. She walked fast on her way up there. <laughs> she's walking slow now. Yep. Oh, she's waiting for me. All right, till later. And here we have Nuggy, soaking up the sun between the raindrops today. She's enjoying it. Hey everybody, another Saturday night out in the forest. It was a good weekend, dry so far. I know there's storms coming. I got thunder in the distance, so I wanted to get this done. Get stuff cleaned up and put away before I turn in, and before the rain gets here. So, um, yeah, it's been a good weekend. Really a lot of relaxing and nothing else. Just time spent in the woods, listening to the trees, relaxing with Nuggy. So, plans, plans, future plans. Uh, in two weeks we'll be out, back out of Kelly's Island again like last year, or like the past nearly 20 years. Just hoping we're not going to have another nor'easter like last year. That was, a, that was a big bummer. Really didn't like that. And after that, it looks like it's a trip to New England, depending on how gas prices go. Um, that could be a killer. Yeah, going from here to... Adirondacks and then to the Green Mountains in Vermont, White Mountains in New Hampshire, and then off to the coast of Maine, up to Lubbock, Maine, and uh, down the coast and back home. And that's the plan. See what gas prices do. And I hope it works out because I'm really looking forward to it. But it is what it is, sign of the times. So, with that, I bid you all a good night. Not done yet. Tonight's beer is a uh, Voodoo Ranger. I know I've tried Voodoo Ranger uh, brand before. This is a. Uh, I've had juicy IPAs. I've had hazy IPAs. This is a juicy haze IPA. So it's seven and a half percent. Kind of potent, but it's one beer before bed. So 
That's how it goes. Smells like all the other IPAs. That one tastes a little stronger. All right, folks, time to get stuff put away and cleaned up and uh, beat the rain. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Hope everybody enjoyed. God bless. Take care of yourselves in the outdoors. Thanks much. We'll talk to you next time or in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Beautiful Sunday morning up here in the Allegheny National Forest. Working on breakfast and my coffee. Generator still running because I still want to make another cup of coffee. So breakfast will be the same as yesterday. I'm not going to show you everything. But once we get through that, it'll be time to start packing up and heading home. Nuggie's still inside the camper in there snoozing. It's a little chilly out here for her, so I let her pass. Yeah, I got a choice. Chihuahua's got owners. I mean, servants, they don't have owners. So we'll get back to you before we head out of here. Hope everybody has a great day. All right, guys, we're all packed up. We're ready to head on out. Nuggie's in the truck waiting. Good weekend. The only complaint I have is black flies. Coming up here this time of year, bring bug spray. First time I've actually seen them up here, so, you know, who knows. One thing is a uh, quick shout out to Tina Bakos, who made my t-shirts. Thank you, very nice job. You need t-shirts, look her up on Facebook. She's in Grafton, Ohio. Um, otherwise, we'll catch you in a couple weeks. We head off for uh, Kelly's Island. About a week and a half, actually. Let's hope it's gonna be dry. Otherwise, thank you, God bless, take care of yourselves and the outdoors. We'll get back at you later.